Okay, I'm back. I got some more done outside while this was drying. Now I'm going to find a good brush to do this. I'm going to do Midnight Blue. I'm working in the off the kitchen nook here area and we only have one door and it's open in the middle of the kitchen there to go into the other room so I can't get that noise down could try, but I'm not going to win. Unless I work in the middle of the night. And very often I do that. I wake up and I refuse to lay there and fuss about not sleeping, so I just get up and I do some art. And it's usually nice and quiet, and I enjoy that me time. But lately, the bee man has been waking up too. So, he gets up about 3.30, has a cup of tea, and he goes in and turns on Netflix, and then he goes to sleep. So, it's a battle of the... It's a battle of the Netflix and the sound. There, get some blue background going. And I just, I work at it just bit by bit. And then I walk away from it, I come back and look again, and I, I might get inspired to do something else. See, what I did just now is covered up where I'm going to have the bay leaf. But, I happened to go into Walmart's area for the craft area, and I found some fern leaves, and I might be able to get away with it looking like bay leaf. So, we'll see. We'll see. I might use those. Okay, carry on here. I have some, um, oh, different kinds of um, reflective colors and uh, paint and things that I'm thinking I can I can kind of spark this up with using some some of those brighter paints yeah and I just screwed up right here because I didn't mean to do that so now I have to Do some correcting. There. There, it's coming. And using um, a small brush is leaving paint strokes. So I'll have to get rid of them eventually, too. But just getting some color blocked in because I don't know what's going to happen next. And that's what I love about art. Like, 
you, you can't force yourself into a into a painting. If you do, it looks like it. You have to, at least, that's what I have found. You have to let it happen. And when that happens, for me, it's a better painting. Because the minute I start trying to force it, you can tell, it, it shows. All right. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some white spots here and there. Um, I have macular degeneration, so, and this last year, the diabetes has really wrecked havoc with my eyes. And I've noticed it more so lately. I have a, I have a spider in this one eye, in the view of this one eye, my left eye. And they took a, some kind of a, some kind of a, a picture of my eye and it showed a wobble on the bottom of both eyes. At least that's, it looked like it was the bottom. Anyway, the bottom of the picture. All right. I think I'm going to stop again and let that rest. I, I'm I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do here. I may I may use pen to do that. So right now I'm going to quit, and then maybe I'll decide what I'm going to do with this. I I'm thinking that I might do orange red orange red orange red and then cover that with a wash of gold i'm thinking that anyway and i do have a really nice gold pen that i could do some of that in i could actually use my good black pen and do the around the maze part of this in black could do this in red and do that in gold the necklace will be gold I can see where I've missed some hair so I'll grab another brush I got like 12 brushes going here uh, I might not have any black, but I can see a spot right now that I want to get. I saw it. Now, where did it go? There. Oh, right here. and what are what's black oh well part of the problem is the upper light is not turned on so I can't see I'm blaming everything else and it's me I didn't do it all right I'm thinking that I will stop for now and then I'm going to come in and either work on here or work on the face or the body. And I realize this is going to be a many-parted video, but I just do what I can do. Okay, I'm going to stop for now. Let this dry and come back to work on it.